Hey YouTube, what's happening? Um, I am on break at work and uh, my day has been kind of like a, a slog and uh, as you can tell from the title of this video, um, we got the Dragon Ball world and really the anime world in general got uh, a huge, huge irreplaceable loss um, as it was reported late last night that um, Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama passed away uh, earlier in March um, and uh, it was just formally announced. Um, he, he was always kind of a quiet guy and so they just kind of kept him mum until yesterday. Um, it's, you know, I, I, I've never allowed a, a, a celebrity death to really bother me as much as this one does. You know, like when we lost Robin Williams, I remember being upset, you know, like when The Undertaker retired from WWE, you know, I was a little upset because it's like these people that you grew up with, you know, are gone. And anybody who knows me knows that I am a huge Dragon Ball fan. And uh, to, 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 to have the driving force behind it gone um it sucks and it's actually making me a lot more upset than i um that i that i probably should be allowing it to be um you know i dragon ball um dragon ball has been a part of my life since my high school days you know i'm i'm gonna be 39 in a couple months and uh you know in high school, man, it was such a point of topic. It was such a conversation. I mean, I knew friends who followed the series in Japan. So they'd come up to me and be like, hey, Steve, look at this. And they would show me, like, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I'd be like, what the hell is that? And they're like, oh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm like, when is that coming up? And, you know, this was like 100 episodes ahead, you know? Because obviously in Japan, it was already out. Um, you know, and then uh, and I remember watching them. Like, the very first episode, my very first Dragon Ball Z episode was Cell absorbing Android 17. And I was hooked from that day forward. And I got my friend Kevin hooked onto it as well. And it was a great, it made our friendship really tight, you know, uh, and, 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 and it lasted till this day, you know. Um, I remember coming home from school you know, turn on Cartoon Network, Toonami, and, and having it come on, and it was like the fastest half hour, you know, and then I, I bought all the VHS tapes so that each saga made a picture, I bought all the DVD box sets, you know, I mean, I was there when Funimation took over, and it's so weird, because you can go back to the earlier episodes and hear the sound quality of the, of the recording compared to what it is now, and, um... I mean, it was like one of those things that uh, it was so cool to, to, to be a part of. It was like a cultural phenomenon, just like Pokemon was, you know. Um, and uh, it was all because of Akira Toriyama. Um, and so, um, you know, I, you know, I, I've watched, I've watched all these 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 people post tributes and um, you know the voice actors telling them how. Because of the, because of Dragon Ball, they've become successful voice actors. I remember one of the things that I always talk about with Dragon Ball and how it's helped me personally is when I was beginning a new career back in 2020, um, I had a big job opportunity, which would involve me leaving my home in Connecticut and going a thousand miles out to Iowa to begin a career with no experience and two days before I left home, my mom passed away suddenly. And I remember making that 17 hour drive alone and, and trying to somehow get myself into a state of mind where, okay, I have to focus on this new job because I don't want to mess it up. But also at the same time as, you know, we still have to do with my mom's wake and stuff. And the one thing that I brought with me, one of the few things I brought with me from home was my Dragon Ball Z box set. And once I got settled and found a place to stay out there, 
that was one of the first things I did is I put it on and it was that familiarity, you know, the, of something that reminded me of home, but something that kind of brought me comfort. And that's, to me, that's, that's what Dragon Ball was, you know, I mean, when you look at what it is today, it is a show that has spawned numerous, numerous shows. It's been it's been extremely influential to some of the shows you see now. I mean, you, you can't mention any type of manga or anime, karate anime, that has not been influenced by Dragon Ball. And most people don't realize that, you know, Dragon Ball has been out for a very long time. You know, when you go back to the original Dragon Ball, which they didn't bring back into the States until after Dragon Ball Z. And, um... You know, and it was just, it's just great, you know? I mean, uh, when you have, like, Team Four Star and you're making parodies of it, you know, and you're, you're, it's, it's, it's referenced in other shows, and, you know, when you can get your own damn float on the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade, you know you're doing something right. And, uh, as if the, the last two Dragon Ball Super films, you know, Broly and Superhero, proved that there is still a massive following. And one of the things that I enjoyed was, like, going to see these movies, a lot of the people are my age and, and slightly younger. Um, I, I was able to attend Kamehameha, a Dragon Ball themed uh, and focused convention where I got to meet the voice actors that I've listened to for 20 years, 25 years. And, um,. You know, to, to, to have these people be a part of your life, you know, it's all circles back to Akira Toriyama. And um, it sucks. It really sucks. If you're a Dragon Ball fan, today sucks. Because now you think, you know, we were supposed to get a new show later on in the fall this year that he was heavily involved in. So what happens now? And I think that's the question that people, you know, who love Dragon Ball, like, what, what happens now? He, he, he was continuing the manga. What like is is Dragon Ball dead? Like, are we are we not going to, you know? I mean, and and it's like even if you wanted to continue, how do you how do you pick up the pieces from such a legendary creator to make something that can still remain faithful and true to the original sculpt? Um, it sucks. I'm I'm bummed. I'm really bummed today, and uh, it does. It feels like a piece of my childhood died today. And the fact of thinking that there's going to be nothing new, the fact that it, it might be over with, it sucks. You know, this was one of those things where I, I hoped maybe one day if I was ever lucky enough to have kids that I'd show my kid, you know, I would I would show my kid. And maybe this is what I grew up and watched. And, um, you know, so, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of post my thoughts. Um, it's... Um, it's crazy. It's just, I feel like, you know, it's sometimes life's not fair. But what we can do as fans is keep our love for Dragon Ball going. You know, post the memes, post the video clips, you know. Um, good thing about this is that Dragon Ball will still be here, even if Akira Turma is not. And we can continue it, we can watch it, we can support it, you know, we can, we can introduce it to new people and... and you know, we just got to be thankful that we were a part of something, you know, record-breaking, you know. But, yeah, let me know what you all think, you know. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Um, just a quick note, thank you everybody who brought my channel up to 300 people now. I do appreciate it. Um, uh, still working on some possible new ideas, I don't know. Uh, we'll get into it later, maybe. Um... But, uh, yeah, so thanks for the support, guys. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Uh, hopefully, maybe you guys have similar experiences and uh, and whatnot. So let me know. Tell me in the comments. I, I like to read them. Hope everybody has a good day today. Try to enjoy the weekend. It's a glorious little chilly day here in Connecticut for once. Uh, I think it's supposed to rain all weekend, so who knows. But a couple more hours and we get to go home. So I'm excited. Hope everybody has a good day. We'll talk to you later.